when I was doing my PhD work, every study I did, uh, before I published my data, here comes a published paper in, in international journals uh, signed by Kathy Carlson uh, that kind of summarized my thoughts as well. So she kind of beat me to it every time. I think this happened twice from my studies. But finally, I defended my thesis in 1990, and uh, I, what I did was that I took a copy of my thesis and sent it to Kathy and wrote to her that I thought she had the same thoughts that I had, but she appeared to beat me every time. And I didn't uh, really, uh, I didn't really think I would get an answer. You know, you send your the you send your thesis to the United States, and you think, well, nobody will answer you. A couple of year years later, I was asked to um, write a review about osteochondrosis in animals for a veterinary journal and uh, I again wrote to Kathy and asked her if she would like to do this together with me and she again said yes and at this time we had started with email so that was easier and we started to sketch the review together uh, by emails but then we kind of decided that we should really meet. She's a very diplomatic person uh, which uh, I could, I could demonstrate by saying that in this osteochondrosis work that we have worked so lo a lot with, um, the human side, the medical society, they will not really, uh, they don't believe in uh, results that are made in the veterinary society, uh, medical society. Uh, and Kathy has actually managed to get uh, part of the medical society to understand that it is the same disease. Because if you look at it as a chronic disease, it's really very, very similar in, in um, young, usually boys, and in animals. But you cannot study the early lesions in, in humans. You need to do that in animals. And, and Kathy has, due to her really scientific skills and knowledge, but together with the diplomatic trade, she has been able to, to um, get a lot of medical doctors to understand that it is the same disease. She's combining pleasure and hard work. We work a lot, uh, we, had a lot we have a lot of fun. I think she's very oriented towards people and very open-minded. She also has a very wide international network because she is such an easygoing person to, to be around and, and she re she's really interested in what other people are uh, describing. I mean, when we first met, we had a little bit different ideas about this disease, but she really listened to what other th people were saying or what I was thinking, or you can discuss with her and there's no prestige in it. She would want to work with people that uh, are interested in what she's doing, so she never feels threatened because she doesn't need to, because she, she has the skill, the scientific skill for, for her research. So. And I, I think that is a really important part of a researcher, that you're open-minded and, and you can discuss with other researchers within your area.